Hey, Hyperdrive Pictures, Steven Zarita here, and I'm here with Richard Horvitz, who is the voice of Alpha 5. How's your Morphicon going, Richard? Oh, it's been wonderful getting to see the fans. Uh, it's my first Morphicon, and everyone's been really cool. Yeah, so I was excited to see that Alpha 5 would be here. I came to your table, and I saw not only are you Alpha 5, you are an extremely prolific voice actor. We have Invader Zim, which I thought was canceled way too early. Uh, I we agree. Have, yeah. I agree. We have Angry Beavers, we have Psychonauts, we have all this stuff. So how long have you been in the voice acting bi business? Uh, I've been voice acting for over 25 years now, um, probably closer to 30. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been great. It's, been, it, it's always flattering when people don't realize I did all those voices because uh, it makes you feel like you have range. <laughs> nice. So let's go back to just Power Rangers for a second. How did you originally get, you've been doing it 25, 30 years, you were probably a very well-established voice actor by then. How did you get the voice of Alpha 5? Did you audition? Did they recognize your talent and ask for you? Uh, well, it's an interesting story. I had a friend who was editing um, the offline version of the show, and it was about 7 o'clock at night one night, and he called me up and he said, look, I'm editing this show, and it's not going to go anywhere. It's a dumb show. It's silly. Uh, but they need the, a temporary voice track of a robot. Can you come in and do it? I said, sure. And you know, I went in, and uh, I walked into the booth, and uh, it was Alpha. Uh, there was no I, 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 I yet. It was just, Zordon, the Power Rangers are in trouble. Uh, hello, Billy. Hello, Kimberly. You know, all that stuff. And. Uh, I thought that was going to be the end of it. They paid me, you know, 50 bucks, and I walked away, and next thing I knew, it got picked up the next year, and within a year, it was like the biggest show in the world. It's crazy. So did it take you long to come up with the voice, or was it a, a spur-of-the-moment thing? Um, it didn't take me long to come up with the voice. Um, it was actually a physicality. I realized that if I could move like this, that is how a robot would talk, and that's what I did. So you're doing a little bit of robot action in the booth as Alpha's doing robot action in the command center. Absolutely. Whenever I play in, in, the, in a recording session, I'm always moving. And especially with Alpha, when I would record, I would always go, Zordon, ay 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 So my hands were up just like the character was up. Awesome. So again, you've done all these roles. There's a lot of aspiring voice actors out there, and it sounds like you have your method, you know, bring some physicality to your voice work. What are some good tips you might have for aspiring voice actors? Uh, if, you're, if you want to get into voice acting, I always say start with acting classes, first and foremost. Um, acting classes, improv, sketch comedy, uh, always the best way to start because what people forget is that voice acting isn't just about what you can do with your voice, it's if you can, if you can act while you're doing the voice. Uh, my friend Bob Bergen, who's Porky Pig, he always says, uh, everyone can do Porky Pig. But can you do Porky Pig doing Shakespeare? Can you do Porky Pig in love? Can you do Porky Pig angry? And so that's where I would start. Awesome. So Alpha 5 was an extremely lovable character. He was kind of goofy, but he was a big help with the Rangers. Uh, There's a couple times where I, I actually felt really sad for him, like when the Green Ranger would, would mess him up that first time and, and stuff. So he really grew on me as, as someone just watching the show. Did he grow on you as someone voicing it? Um. Yeah, he did. Uh, you know, he has to because you inhabit that world while you're recording. Um, it was a little bit more difficult than, say, a, a, an original animation, a domestic animation, because really I was just dubbing, and so part of my job was to make sure that I stopped talking by the time the lights stopped moving. And you'll see in some of the episodes, Alpha's still talking and the lights aren't moving. Um, but, yeah, someone pointed out yesterday that no one ever said thank you to Alpha. Aww. Yeah, they never really said thank you. But um, my favorite episodes are like when Alpha turned evil. Um, it's during oh, the, yeah. the Rita, Lord Zed marriage when they destroy the um, the command center and they make Alpha evil. So that was fun. Well, I guess I'll be the first to say thank you, Alpha. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. And uh, so, I mean, Power Rangers, 20 years ago, you've been doing a lot of stuff since then, before then. Tell us a little bit about some of the projects you're working on right now. Uh, currently, I'm working as the voice of Chaos on Skylanders, the video game series. I've done four of those games with a new one coming out uh, this October called Trap Team. Uh, a lot of video game work, uh, a lot of pilots. I did uh, Kick Matowski for Disney. I did um, Fish Hooks for Disney. Uh, just do that. I, you know, I've done a couple films in, in recent years. I did The Informant, where I played Matt Damon's attorney. I was in Crazy Stupid Love with Steve Carell. So I keep keep going. 
Awesome. Now, and where are you online so our viewers can keep up with what you're up to? Uh, you can see me at www.richardhorvitz.com. Uh, if you're interested in voiceover classes, which I teach, you can uh, send an email to um, Richard Horvitz, H-O-R-V-I-T-Z, classes at gmail.com. You should have opened with that. What's a good advice for voice acting? Take my class. This guy right here. <laughs> All right, awesome. Richard, thank you so thank much. You much. Enjoy Morphicon. Hey guys, thanks for watching my Richard Horvitz interview. If you liked it, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And we're doing Power Rangers interviews every Saturday with cast members from the show. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. And let me know what your favorite alpha quote was in the comments below. I'll see you guys with the next interview. And our actual podcast with the review of the Mind Morphin Power Rangers movie comes out tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. Punch it!